Hello everybody, welcome back. Minor Mountain here. Playing a little Hail to the King Death Bat today. So let's get after it. I uh, believe we just completed the third level. Now we got the fourth one here. I think this is the fourth. Uh, it's green. See how it's kind of got a green little circle there with the Death Bat in it? The other ones have red. That means you've completed them. The green means you have not completed it. Okay, Babylon, here we go. So, <clears throat> it's kind of an urban setting. Uh, there's docks. Uh, unlike the last level, you can fall into these. Or fall off of them. Uh, this is a demon bitch. They're pretty weak. They kind of uh, really telegraph their magic. They kind of reel back. See this one right here? Yeah. Um, so you just kind of run up on them when they do that. Uh, and they do have a melee too, but they also telegraph that very obviously as well. But you don't have to do a whole lot of bobbing and weaving with them. But there's also these, um, not this, this is another demon bitch. There's, uh, these dock monkeys or whatever they are, dock gremlins. They're a lot like the gram red and green gremlins, but they're blue. And they're not as fast. Oh, dot crawler. Okay, there, there you go. But the, the confusing thing is, they're the same color as those demon bitches. And when they get in a group, and there's different ones, their attacks actually come pretty quick. So, so if they gang up on you, they, they can actually do a fair amount of damage. And uh, you want to do quite a bit of sticking and moving. Um, the, the demon bitches, you can just do very minimal uh, sticking and moving. Just a little bit of movement. Sometimes if you hit them, they reel back far enough, and you can just step in and hit them again. Um, they're fairly weak. So I can't get through here, but I like to take these guys out on the other side just because when the wall finally does go down, hopefully they won't be there. Just, you know, they can't hit you through. Well, I think they can hit you through there. There's another guy behind this door. I think they can hit you through there, but it's, it's very rare. So it's an easy way to take out enemies, save your health, capitalize. See? That's what you got to do. Like I said, you can fall off all this stuff, so just be careful about that. Um, you don't take fall damage, but if you fall into the water, air quotes there, or whatever, fall off the map, you will die instantly. And you can see how these, these enemies attack. They really, they really telegraph it. They really tell you they're gonna, they're gonna go. I don't think, okay, so there's planks you have to walk across. You walk down, so this gate's locked. But once again, I'm going to take out, there's a dead gladiator. Those guys move pretty slow, and they they only melee, and they melee very slowly, so they're, they're not too hard. I mean, if you've made it this far, the enemies in this level are actually pretty easy. Uh, they give you a break on that, but I think it's because <laughs> you can fall off. You'll, you'll see what I mean here. Hold on. All right, so a couple dead gladiators. Um, take them out. That's someone shooting at us from above. They actually can't hit us. Time these out. They always come up double. They'll go up one, two. Wait for that second one and then go. All right. Save location checkpoint. All right. We got a boss. But I'm going to come up here. Take out these enemies because I don't want this enemy shooting at me the whole time. Even though I think it's a different height and I can't be hit. I'm just going to take these out. And it's your standard, standard boss format, uh, or mini boss, I should say. Um, he's in a protective barrier, shooting things at you. Uh, it's pretty easy to dodge, you just keep moving around, but you can't hit him until you take care of all of his uh, cronies, all the dock crawlers. And I think he spawns, I don't know, 10 or 20 of them here. Like, there was two or three that spawned there. There's three or four more. And so... You'll see they get in a group. I try to use my magic attack there, but they get in a group and they really start doing damage to you quickly. And then along comes the fireball and it hits you as well. Luckily, we've been farming and this is not a problem whatsoever. <laughs> so, um, as soon you try to change directions a lot. You go past, run past them, wait for the 
fireballs to shoot and then change directions. So you kind of got to time it all. As, as you can see, I'm not doing too well here. I'm just, just getting hit. But here's this is what magic is for. <laughs> I've, I've said it before. I'll say it again. That's that's the best way to take out those mini bosses. Okay, so doors opened up. Things opened up. We can go check that out now. Sorry, my voice is a little hoarse. I've been uh, traveling all over, screaming my guts out. <laughs> Seriously. All right, so we've got this little area that unlocked up here. You pay attention, over there on the right, there's one of the first green death bat things that uh, unlocks the bonus level. Um, you don't have a whole lot of room to move there. If you don't have a whole lot of room to move, these guys can get you. But see here, I'm just standing still. No problem. So go back up here. And I apologize. This takes a little bit of time. I keep falling. Uh, so yeah, you got to walk across these planks. And... And once you get to the end of that, you can. There's a place where you can get over the little wall, and I, there's the bonus token, and there's also uh, a lever up there, a switch you have to hit. So, and this, this is entirely too hard. So, right now I'm looking for other ways to get in there, but I think that's. See this this plank ends. I tried this a couple times, but I keep falling there. So, that's not the correct plank. You see over there, there was a door with a giant lock on it, and it had like a number one or something on it. <clears throat> had a Roman numeral. There's five of those. You, you find a gate key, and then you find, then you go to the number one, and then you find another key, go to number two, and so on and so forth. And this takes entirely too long. But you go... Up against the wall, there's like a little wall there, railing. So you, you go up against that until you get out like about halfway, and then you come out towards the bottom of the screen. So you go up against the wall, and you come straight out on this plank. You can't get over that wall, and then you got to go back to the right this way uh, on this plank. And then once you get to that end plank, you can go in there. I think I fall off here. Yep. Um, and so what I'm doing when I'm when I'm up there, instead of holding it down and running, I'm just tapping. Just, I would tap and kind of drag just slightly the direction I want to go, and then I'm releasing. So, see, watch the lower left hand corner, the, the soft D pad. I'm just tapping it just a little bit, just tap it in there. <laughs> and, ah, oh, seriously, come on. Um, luckily, there's not water below here. Uh, there are some places where there is, and you, you fall off and you die a lot. Uh, but, and this is one of those levels where it's very dark. Um, turning your settings up, turning your brightness up, this is, this is very beneficial. Um, I'm really only finding my way around in the dark here because I've, I've played this before. I, I know what needs to be done. Well, I mean, it's been a while, so there's kind of a learning curve. But it's, it's coming back to me. So, so I'm just tapping. Just tap, 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 tap and drag just a teeny bit, and it's, I don't know. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do, but it's not that hard. Shouldn't have taken me that long. Gate has opened. That's that gate by the beginning. Um, it seems big. It's not that big. It's not that big. I mean, there's five gates or whatever, but it's, it's, it's not that big of a map. It's just the levels make it a little confusing. But you'll see, I just, just, you can just run around and, and you'll find your way. It's, it's, it's a lot smaller map than the, the last few maps. Uh, and the enemies are easier. But I think it's because you can fall off and the, the main boss, the end boss in this is pretty tough. Um, she makes clones of herself or apparitions of herself or whatever and you have to pick one to hit and if you don't get it right you'll probably get I know you, you dodge the melee attack I don't know we'll, we'll talk about that later when we get into it dead gladiator now he's gonna be a double dead gladiator but <laughs> oh 
run down here and see what we got. Got more of these enemies. And naturally, they want you to hit that while you're fighting the enemies. Maybe you won't get as many coins. Typical gaming ploy. I'm not complaining. I just just be ready for it. <laughs> All right. So to the left there is where what opened up that gate there. Um, and so you can get back up here from the beginning very very easily, very quickly now. You don't have to run around like we just did. Um, across here and there, see there's a gate, Roman numeral three on it. You got to do them in order. You got to find the the number one gate. Well, I guess you got to find the key first, but. Then you take the first key you take to the first gate. The next key you get, you take the second gate. They like to throw a lot of these guys at you at once. I think that's kind of the, how they have strengths. Otherwise, they're pretty weak, uh, weak enemies. Just looking around here. And chest out there, across the plank. That'll be fun to get. More dock crawlers. Boom. And then you hit them once. That's how you use that big attack. <clears throat> they're coming at you. You release it. And then while they're stunned in a group, you hit them a couple times with your sword and they're done before they even get a chance to hurt you. Try to get this first gate open here. We're starting to run long. I don't like to go much over 10 minutes, but this is a, a long level. Okay. So, yeah, it's kind of hard. There's a stairway to see there, or it's kind of hard to see. There's a stairway there. You can turn your brightness up. I can see it. Um, maybe you can. Come out here. And now, so there was a green barrier there before, but there isn't now, so. And those enemies aren't there. There's probably still some enemies down here, but there's probably three or four less. Uh, yeah, and here we're going to use the big attack again. And then hit them, and they're done best way to use that attack, I think, when you got multiple enemies. Get some coins. Coins are life. We don't have a whole lot of coins. I guess we spent a whole bunch at the uh, crypt. Gate key. We have a gate key, so you have to go to gate key, or gate number one, and unlock that. It, it, the keys don't tell you what, what gate it's for, but Everything unlocks in order, in chronological order, so you can't mess this up. So let's go find that number one gate. And get after it here. This, this is starting to take way too long. I'm just trying to be thorough, though. Every nook, every cranny, we gotta check everything out. So far, we've only got one... Uh, Bonus unlock token. Oh, see, that's gate five. That key won't work there. Gate three will not work there. There's a gate. This gate just opens up after you beat a boss, I think. And I think that's one of the last ones. Uh, check in here. I think there's a guy you're going to talk to down one of these. One of these little corridors here. There it is. There's a magic fill up too. Did you, did you hear that? Started filling up my magic, so. Eh. Blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. Ah, number one gate is open. So, I'm gonna take care of this guy. Um, that is about all I got for you. This is running long. Check out what happens here. I fall off, and I die. That's all I got for you. Mighty Mountain out. Peace.